as you might know, uh, ray tracing is one of the most uh, computationally intensive uh, problems in computer graphics. And uh, people have been working on it for a very long time. And so this year uh, is, a, is a very critical uh, point in time in the evolution of, uh, of this technology, NVIDIA RTX technology, which combines software and hardware to make uh, real-time cinematic ray tracing possible. Places in that workflow where NVIDIA RTX technology is going to make a huge impact. Uh, for example, there is, uh, there is a, a stage when an artist is working on uh, the characters or the scenes um, and uh, working with tools like uh, Autodesk, um, 3ds Max, or Maya, you know, those kinds of applications. And typically they are creating the characters, they are composing the scene, they are, they are applying uh, materials and uh, they are changing lighting and so on. And that's sort of that look dev process where they are, it's a very iterative process of creating the content. And, and during that phase, uh, typically, uh, the artist can benefit from being able to look at that content, look at those characters, or look at that scene in a photorealistic manner, because then they can make better decisions. If they can see the, the way those materials are going to look in the final render, uh, then they can decide whether the material is correct or if they need to change it and so on. So, so that part uh, is, uh, you know, photorealistic rendering is very important in that stage of the workflow, but because it takes so long, the artists have had to uh, use to offline rendering. They had to resort to offline or batch rendering for that kind of work, and that was very time consuming. What RTX is going to do is really change the game for these, art, for these art, artists. Um, now they're going to be able to do that interactively. Right. So if you're looking at your scene in a viewport inside Maya using a renderer like Chaos V-Ray or you know, another renderer like uh, Autodesk Arnold or, or some other of, of their choice, uh, because of RTX and because of this capability of being able to accelerate ray tracing, uh, artists are going to be able to fluidly interact with their models, with their scenes. They're going to enjoy this photorealistic rendering in real time, interactively and that's gonna help them uh, be more productive because they can now make better decisions faster. They can see the changes right there in front of them. Um, so with RTX technology, if you can accelerate that work, if you can speed it up, and, and as we have seen, uh, in comparison to CPUs, GPU with RTX technology is almost 10 times faster. So if you can imagine something getting sped up 10X, you can, save time and money in your overall project. So ultimately, I think both the content creators are going to benefit and then the consumers are gonna benefit with this technology. And you're going to see just, I think, incredibly realistic content. Uh, even like if you think about human characters in games, um, you know, our visual system is so sophisticated that if something is not quite real, you can immediately notice the flaw in a movie or in a game, uh, and that can be distracting. But, uh, you know, with RTX technology, with our GPUs, as people are able to create incredibly real looking content in real time, right, the games and, and this kind of entertainment is going to be just mind blowing. And so people are going to be more engaged. They're going to enjoy it more. They're going to be engaged more. And um, I, I think that's the exciting part of what we can expect. You know, just from the, the reactions that you're seeing today in the keynote, uh, in Jensen's keynote, where he talked about RTX, he talked about GB100. I think everybody was blown away when they saw the demonstrations and they saw the video clips and of the speed uh, of the acceleration that GPUs provide versus CPU. It was mind blowing. And so as uh, customers get their hands on this, they start to try it out for themselves, they're gonna be blown away with how fast uh, this is. And, and uh, it's, it's really exciting to see uh, this promise of real-time ray tracing finally you know, being delivered by, uh, by NVIDIA. So uh, we're really proud about the work uh, our engineers and, and our researchers have done uh, to make this possible.